I'm Lucy from VicX and I'm here today with five awesome fairy tale retellings. There is something magical about fairy tales that makes them perfect for this time of year. But when you've outgrown, you know, the same sort of children's stories that we've heard over and over again, sometimes you can feel that you need a little bit more of a grown up fairy tale that still captures all that wonder and that intrigue and that darkness that fairy tales have so fantastically. And when you're looking for something like that, you might want to try one of these five great books. At number five, we have Outlaw, the true story of Robin Hood by Michael Morpurgo. And this is a YA retelling of Robin Hood, actually, by the author who is best known, of course, for the fabulous War Horse. And it follows, you know, young Robin alone and, you know, a little bit scared in the woods when he finds um, the remains of a human skull buried in the roots of an ancient tree. And with this skull, he doesn't really quite know what to do next, but he's taken in by a motley crew of misfits. And it's there that the journey really to avenge his father's death truly begins. Now, this retelling actually doesn't deviate all that much from you know the original legend, but what it does do is breathe you know new life into characters and a story that we know so well because Morpurgo has such vivid crisp writing and such a warm heart um, in the way that he tells the stories that I really think you know it's just as good for adults as it is for a younger audience. At number four I have chosen Alice by Christina Henry. And this is a retelling and a continuation, really, of the story of Alice in Wonderland, but it is definitely not for the faint-hearted. Alice emerges um, from her time down the rabbit hole, bloodied and disfigured and sexually assaulted, and she's only able to mutter the words, the rabbit, under her breath. So her family ends up putting her in a lunatic asylum. And she actually spends the next 10 years there before she manages to escape. And what follows is the journey to try and rediscover who she was before whatever happened happened. And actually for her to discover what happened and to sort of assert herself as this new Alice. And it is dark and disturbing and endlessly gory, but what it also is actually is a really fantastic coming of age story somehow as Alice sort of adapts to life outside the asylum and who she might have been. At number three, I have chosen The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents by Terry Pratchett. And as well as having a fabulous title, this is sort of the ultimate satire story, really, of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. And it follows Maurice, who is of course a cat, and his band of uh, con artist rodents who travel together alongside their slightly intellectually challenged flautist human. Um, between villages, faking plagues of rats and scamming the inhabitants of these villages out of their money. Now, of course, being Pratchett, it has that fabulous knowing humour running through it and it has an amazing warmth and charm. But it also asks sort of, you know, quite deep philosophical and ethical questions really about, you know, human nature. Whilst also holding on to, um, you know, the feeling that at, our, at heart we are all hopeful creatures and that is something to aspire to. At number two I have chosen Through the Woods by Emily Carroll and I saw this described as the Brothers Grimm by way of Patricia Highsmith and Stephen King which I think is just the most fabulous description and it's actually a collection of graphic short stories that marry fairy tales with sort of epic gothic horror and the illustrations are just incredibly extravagant but utterly beautiful 
But what I felt was the real sort of strength and the heart of this book was, was how it sort of hints that the mind is complicit in what makes fairy tales so dark. So it's sort of hinting to you that the people who have the most to fear from uh, fairy tales are the people who have guilty secrets or ready to hide. And at number one, I have chosen Boy Snow Bird by Helen Oyemi. And this is part retelling of Snow White and part complete um, critical reimagining, actually. And it uses the story of Snow White to um, provide an examination, really, of gender issues and racial tension in America in the 1950s. But it does so fabulously without the hint of a lecture anywhere. And what I loved aside from, um, you know, the really beautiful language is also how the narrative twists and turns in such completely unexpected ways. And just when you think you've got a grasp on who these characters are, what happens is um, a twist that really challenges you to think about what identity means and how fluid identity is and whether a redemption can ever truly be achieved. So there you have my top five fairy tale retellings and there are actually absolutely hundreds of them out there. I know that there are loads of really popular ones um, like Heartless and Cinder that I actually haven't read so I'd love it if you could talk to me about whether I would like them too and tell me what your favourite um, fairy tale reimaginings are because I know they're just absolutely squillions. So, um, in the meantime, please do check out bookaxe.com. Also, subscribe to our channel for new content on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. And we shall see you soon. Thank you for watching.